Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Get in the car. Hi. Hi. All right. Lead the way. Help me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go in this direction. Pre thirty something. Oh wow! This is crazy. You're doing assist on or off? Uh. Drive assist off. Off. Okay, but me too. Wow, it's much more mountainous when you get down here, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, I've got one. I've got that. Nice. <laughs> This is why geologists are not racing to Mars, because it's too big of a challenge. It's too big! There's too many rocks! Dude, where's my canyon? Right in front, ish. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I need to do that whole. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Eh. Turn everything off. Oh, that's so much better. Turn all my computers off. Much more fun. Right. Hang on, I got some strapping issues. What's going on there? No, the strappage. The straps. Keep the the straps. Alive. All right. There's black stuff coming out of your car, mate. I don't know, it's not good, is it? <laughs> Did you look at my black You're polluting. <laughs> no, mate, that's just dirt. Dirt, dirt. Polluting place of its archaeological value. <laughs> you picked an interesting route, my friend. Well, you can pick a better one if you want. <laughs> But according to the map, this is the easiest way down. You find something, did you? No. Oh no. It's alright, there's a fire extinguisher and uh, by your feet, so we'll be right, fine. Because that's so important. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. There's something in this direction. Check it out. Yeah. That's what we came here to do. Honk honk! Honk honk. High beams. Oh god, high beams! Ah! What are you doing? Harassing you. Handbrake! <laughs> 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 it's not a brawler, shit. <laughs> oh, someone's watching us. Hello. Hi. Speed it! Woo! Woo! 
shit! Ah! <laughs> I drift. Ah! <laughs> who, right. who am I? Where am I? <laughs> 300 away from me. <laughs> Where the hell are you? Oh, wait, is that you Come up in. there? Come in. Yeah. Oh, here he comes! Um. Nice. Okay. He stuck the landing. I like it. I'm a pilot, remember? <laughs> it's cool. No. It's fun to just punch it, right? Yeah. Big tires. <laughs> nice landing. That wasn't too bad. Drift super. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> oh wow, there he goes. Okay, landed. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I dirt rally time. Had to be done, didn't it? I've got Dirt Rally installed, actually. I should check that out at some point. It needs a bit of Tom Dinkering to get the VR working, though, so... Right. Uh, let's see. Something is in that direction, I guess. Let's punch it. And jump. What the? And three sixty. Ooh, that's far. That's far. That's far. <laughs> Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. The dance. Something is in front of us, and we are getting closer. Though. Good enough for me. This is a weird rock right next to me, but... I don't see anything yet, bud. No, it's it's up the hill, so... It's up there we somewhere. Search for something else, yeah. Ah, uh, we can always... Uh, you can get up there. I know I can, I just don't want to. <laughs> oh, there's something where you're going, so... Uh-oh. 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 God, this became like a nightmare. Oh, God. It is bumpy here, mate. Like, really bumpy. Oh no! Well, if it's hard to climb, just turn on your assist and uh, climb Drive assist on. Oh, no. Okay, drive assist on. No, no bueno. Yeah, it's too slippery. We're going on sand. 
slippery, huh? We're not going that way then. Wait, I messed up. Because my <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you did like a triple backflip. Yeah, that, that's my second. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, oh, smoother down here, mate. Hey, you never know, we might be able to get our ships back if we're lucky. Oh, I think the. Looks pretty smooth here, don't you reckon? Yeah, I can see we're going 33 meters per second already. Ow! Except, oh. Oh, not lift all. <laughs> Let's see if the ships will meet us. Where are you off? I found something. Oh, did you? I have to drift to it. What did you find? What did you find? What did you find? It's supposed to be some materials, but where is it? Oh, come on, Lightner. Tell it to me. Don't lie into my face. Uh. Over here. Nothing on my scatter, mate. It's clear. Oh, it's somewhere really here. Maybe this thing? That's it. Oh, I went too far. Nah. Oh no, that's you. I'm stupid. Uh, I f did find something over here. Oh, it's supposed to be here. Come on. I don't see anything here, bud. <laughs> Not there. This way. Just the frames. Here. Oh shit, there it is. Ow! Yeah. You went right through it. And yeah, I saw the little rock on the floor. Let's see what we got. Germanium. Not bad, not bad. Take it all, bud. No, I give you half now. Who is yours, to is mine. For some reason, it doesn't want me to target anything. <clears throat> really? I look on your panel, man. One iron and two germanium. There, you go. there we go, cargo scoops down. Wow, the sound effect of how the sand crumbles under us. <laughs> wow, I can't get over that rock. Right. 
Boost, boost, boost. Just a little bit. I can't because I'm in a menu. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's why the menus piss me off. There we go. There we go. Right. So then the next thing is that. <laughs> In this part. <laughs> like constantly trying to find the buttons Q and E. I'm gonna have to figure out some way of binding them as well. I know. But they're gone, so nothing to look for now. Set record. All right. Ship should be here soon. Okay. Pretty cool ship. Gives out the whistle. So funny. <laughs> Nothing yet. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Unmanned. Whoops, forgot to bring my crewman again. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. And there's you. Right. Oh, they're not going to land on top of that, do they? Oh, they're not going to land up there, are they? Uh, you bastards! You want a challenge? <laughs> oh, mate, how are we gonna get up there? Good question. Landing area blocked. Mine waved off. Maybe we should go more inside the crevice. Right, follow me. Yeah, I'm never getting up there. Not in this thing. Ouch! Okay, let's recall it again. It takes half a minute now to recall the ship. What? Why do they have to increase that time? Just 10 seconds. Because it needs to be more realistic! He's going to land on the hill as well, isn't he? The game is joking with us. Ship dismissed. Yeah, landing area locked. Okay, let's go up this side. I guess. Then we would have figured that the biggest problem would be getting back to the ship. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we can come up here. Crawl more like No, 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 please work. You can do it, buggy. I believe in you. No friction, bro. Where's he trying to land? On the other side of the galaxy. Same place again. 1.2 kilometers. Oh. Oh wait. I'm shooting my own ship. Come on, Dick. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, man. Land he's par he, he's bloody landed at the top of the cliff again. 
Why don't they come down? Let's play this. That, you know what that means. You gotta drive further. That's what that means. sense that the sides of the mountain is the hardest to climb with a buggy in a low G, right? Well, yeah. Shit, right then, ship. Third time's the charm, eh? Come on, come on. I'm gonna... I mean, if it gets lie. really bad, it's only 15,000 to buy a new buggy and you can just self-destruct the buggy, so... That, but it's not good role playing, bro. Yeah, I know. How about speed jumping up there? Hang on, where's he <laughs> gonna land? He's gonna land at the top of that cliff, isn't he? Come on, come on, come to Papa. I got it, mate. I think. Wait. I no. <coughs> no! He's at the top of the bloody cliff again! <laughs> right! That's it. You leave me no choice. Just as soon as I've found the key on my keyboard, I'm gonna push buttons. I'm gonna self destruct with full. <laughs> right? Time to destroy myself. 20 seconds. Self-destruct in 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Self-destruct in 10 seconds. Self-destruct in 5. And kaboom! Yeah. <laughs> That's a 360 air boom. Whoa! <laughs> How did it look? I don't know, but I nearly made it to my ship. <laughs> Finally. Wait, is that In the wreckage? The I don't oh. know. Wow, it looks like I, I have to take a break again. I don't know what's with me. Alright. I'll be back in a few. Oh, there's my wreckage. <laughs> right, well, and I have returned. He's back. Uh, Wait, what? 
Too bad we lost our buggies because we could have tried the sunny side of the planet. Oh, there we go. <coughs> That's alright, it's always next time. So how much do you do you feel? Describe how much is it Whoa. Uh, lively than just watching at a 2D screen. Well, you feel like also you're in. Gear. You feel like you're in the game, okay? Because uh, like right now, I feel like gravity is pulling me into my chair just because it's so. The illusion is complete, you know. No matter right. where I look. Oh, I've still got my uh, hard points yeah. deployed. Gears out. Yeah, so no matter where I um oh and my gear. Yeah, right. So no matter where I look, it's convincing. Do you know what I mean? Right. And more games should do it. I agree Four, with that. Three. It's really interesting. One, engage. Frameship drive charging. Power plant exceeded. What? <laughs> the hell's that all about? Just, just leave it. It's a buggy message. But hey, I still, I see you in Super Cruise right near me. <laughs> right. Without the flash. Crazy. And now comes the flashback as we enter on suborbital speeds. <laughs> Well, I'm still waiting for the planet to stop obscure, obscuring the station we're heading to, so... There we go. Back to Green Terminal. Then. Yep. Right. Look at the views you get in the ASP, dude. Sounds awesome, mate. It really is. You know how you go to like a, a star observatory place and a stellarium and yes, it projects yes. everything? Well, imagine that just being used for your game and... And on your face. <laughs> well, yeah, but you can't afford an actual 360 projection, can you, you know? That'd be too Not expensive. everyone, yeah. yeah. <coughs> it's like <coughs> 24 to 56 projection. Mm. Projector. I mean, I would say this is a bit like having it, bit, having a custom chair built for one game with a loads of screens all around you. You know. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, a, a sim. Kind of yeah, it's a. If you want to do simulation, this is VR is perfect. Like, and I mean, look at it. That's me. That's me moving my. So. And people nuts. have been doing it since, since with trucks games as well and car games and other type of simulations, not just space or, or airplane. Yeah, that is true. I want to take a look at a racing game. And that, but that was, you know, that was the selling point of the arcades. Yes. Yeah. It was a wholer experience, sort of. You still looked at a screen, but that screen was bigger than yours at home. <laughs> In that time. <laughs> I right. will say, though, that the screen needs to be a little bit more... I reckon part of the reason for the eye strain is because people aren't used to the low res text. Because reading, oh, right. reading so it has to be higher pixel. That's good. yeah. I reckon <coughs> it could do with having more. I mean, but that's it's a bit. How about having the screen farther? Would that solve it? You think? Like um, I don't think five so. Five centimeters no. away. Like, no, because then okay. you don't. Because you need it close, otherwise you wouldn't be able oh, to get yeah, the peripheral. You lose the, the peripherals. Yeah, you need peripheral. Because this is the thing, when I'm when I'm taking a video, this what I'm streaming now is letterboxed. Actually, what I can see, I can see my toes all the time. You know, when yeah. I'm when you're flying along, if you're looking straight ahead, oh, because you can, of the lens, yeah, you yeah. can still see and your the, hands. And the field of view settings, though. Yeah, true, but you can tweak it a lot. But I'm yeah. just saying that it's a lot more immersive than what you can convey in a capture. You know, when yeah. you put it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I find myself in games to increase the FOV to ridiculous levels and just lean into the screen that it fills up all your vision. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but that also is bad for the eyes. Not that I'm calm.
And how much do the blinders uh, miss you or the what? discomfort you? You know, the blinders that you have black areas around. You don't notice sides. them. You don't notice you don't them. Notice it's, them. It's the same as wearing a diving mask. You know, when you have a diving mask, there's like a little bit on the on each side to stop the light getting, well, the water getting in. I mean, I'm picky in. and I even notice if I have uh, glasses on. You know, I don't like, yeah, glasses. I don't, yeah, I know what you mean by feeling like you're blinkered, but this doesn't feel like that because you get more that's than awesome. what you're used to. You know, everything that's on the screen is on the screen. You have to turn to look directly at what you want to look at, right. you know, yeah. but which you is a bit feel weird. But what's near you or not in the focus? Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Depth perception is good, you know. Right. And the only thing that made me feel a bit ill so far was when you're in the jump, if you lean back and look up at the stars oh. as they shoot past... <laughs> oh, God, that's not right. That's even bad in the That's really <laughs> something not... That's not right. But it feels hey, that's weird. That's switch space for you. Well, that's switch space, yeah, so it's... Okay. Uh, autopilot the last 10 feet. <laughs> yeah! Hang on. Are you behind me? Yes. Sorry, I'm out of you. I Which just pad? On 22. Yeah. 22, where's 22? Back and left. The ship with the lights on. <laughs> I can't even see, tw I can see 28, 39, 26. 23 is next to you to the left directly and then up behind it is me. What? Oh, what? Uh, have you already gone inside? No, I have my lights on. Oh, <laughs> there now. you are. Finally. <laughs> Took me ages to spot which one you were in. Uh -oh. You should have said you were next to 28. Down he goes. <laughs> right, well. Ah. Yeah, how, how much does it strain your neck after a session? It doesn't at all. You, you barely at all. I'd say I move my head more when I'm not using a VR. But then it's good it's muscle crazy. Uh, kind of practice. Or well, I don't know about that. I'd say that you move. I'd it? say, no, I'd say you use your neck more than you realize. And this is nothing right. to your neck. Oh yeah, I know it's big, big muscles and stuff. How heavy is it though? It's really the light, actually. It's really light. It, it, and the funny thing is, when you strap it on, it doesn't touch your nose really. I mean, really? it, pu it pushes, it pushes, good. it pushes down on the bridge of my nose a little bit. But to be honest, most of it, nose, I'd right. say most of the weight is on your cheekbones. And then around the top of the forehead a bit. That's awesome. Yeah. But I was actually really surprised. Right then. The top will work it. <laughs> yep. And I think I'm going to leave it here. We're going to come back tomorrow and do some more stuff. We'll probably be doing combat in the Python next time. But we just thought we'd fly down to a planet and check out... Um, Check out a the buggy. Meagerly looking crevice. That's actually a, a double Grand Canyon. <laughs> I know, right? And then you get stuck in it. Yeah. Lol. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching tonight, guys. If anyone's watching, I don't know. I can't tell. I can't see Twitch because 
headset. Yeah, nobody commented. Come on, guys, a bit more activity. Nah, it's fine. Everyone's <laughs> just like Saturday night, so it's all good. Right. See you next time. <laughs>